So whenever we train, there are some key things that we focus on to make sure that we are getting the most out of that training because that's what it's all about. <laughs> We gotta make those gains. As a professional runner, honestly, I've spent way too much time thinking about all this type of stuff. But luckily for you guys, I have some lessons, some lessons to teach all of you. So come along with me on a big training day, a couple weeks ago back in Boulder. We're not in Boulder anymore. And I wanna show you guys the five big things that I focused on that day. So I wanna give you five takeaways. Make sure you stick around for the last one because in my opinion, it's the most important. So this was honestly a really big training day for me. So there's like so much I could be covering, but I'm just gonna start with the basics. First things first, it's just making sure that you're eating proper meals. And now I know this isn't easy necessarily for everyone. You can come in the shot, it's, don't be afraid. I know it's not easy for everyone. I know some people train super early in the morning and some people have different amounts of food that they can tolerate before training. But guys, you gotta eat meals. It's like so important and it forms the basis of a good nutrition. And if you wanna go have a big session, you gotta be properly fueled for that. So eating proper meals before sessions is the first This is one. the bulking phase. I'm trying to put on some mass today. I'm gonna start off with some big pancakes. Yum. Morgan finished Sita. Why so fast? I got the gear. Gear. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Okay. I walk for the green. Oops. Duck. One more. And then this one has to go here. So take off the plastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh and my god. Today we have. Snow day. Treadmill workout because there's a lot of snow out there. I have six or seven times by mile. Mar, you got four by two mile? Mm -hmm. Nice. I got bored, so later now she broke it up. We just listen to Taylor Swift and go by fast. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good enough, right? And so this brings me on really nicely to point number two, which is just more fueling stuff but this is looking specifically at fueling in the session. Secrets of the trade. Hmm. Got those good carbs in. So pretty much what I'm talking about is making sure that you're getting carbs in actually during the session. You know, it can take so many forms. I'm not gonna plug any specific brands here, but pretty much I am talking mostly about like gels and drink mixes. But honestly, I'm pretty sure, I'm not a scientist or a nutritionist, but I'm pretty sure that you could be eating candy and it would be better than eating nothing. Initially, it sounded a bit kind of intimidating or like pointless even, but I can tell you from personal experience and all my teammates feel the same way, is that it helps us so much, in particular in big sessions towards the end and with recovery. And so I'll link some stuff below, like some research on it so you can get like actual numbers, but trying to get more carbs in helps so much. So, do it. Train smarter, not harder. Such an annoying cliche. Like if someone says that, it's like, yeah, no shit. I want to train smarter and not harder. But how do we actually do that? That's the question. And it can take you a while to figure it out. So when it comes to threshold work, I'm a big like going off field type of guy, like growing up all about it. However, doing threshold work slightly more data driven has been so nice for us. We recently started using the lactate monitors and I've also started using a heart rate monitor. And just having that to guide you has been so good. I think myself and my teammates will all say, it kind of just takes a bit of the guesswork out of it. And then why don't you come off the treadmill so we have 90 minutes, for 90 seconds, and then I'll do the, I'll do the test. Um, I'm going to start in a Kind of like the bonus tip on this, which makes me seem even more annoying, is adding the treadmill into that. And I never thought I would say this. Like I used to like hate running on the treadmill. I thought it was a punishment. But think about this. If you're using data and the treadmill together, you do a rep, a threshold rep on the treadmill, and then you get your lactate readings, you don't have to think. Like you could be like a, I mean, I guess we're just trying to become robots. Thanks, Jakob. But it makes it so simple. We'll get further down the line. Cumulative on your legs, then at least we get the last one or two above your pressure. Right now, you're going. I was at 170, so now we're going up just 
point one because it's still feeling pretty hot on my chest. It just makes life so good. We are all absolutely loving it. I hate to say it. Like, I really hate to say this. I wish this wasn't true, but I recommend everyone giving this a try or at least doing threshold work in a place where you can have slightly more controlled variables, which I guess is like the track, which also just sounds terrible. But the reality is if you want to do this at the highest quality, these are things that we're doing now to get better. So I would recommend at least giving it a try. Stay there. I saw it. What? I saw it. I couldn't have hoped for anything more than that. <coughs> Despite my cough and my apparent dying, it was a good effort. Pretty controlled, considering two weeks ago I was so sick, so I'm happy. <coughs> you alright? <coughs> Recovery, recovery, recovery. Where do I even begin? What I will say is that on this day, especially I focused on sleep. Obviously nutrition we already talked about. And then also I got treatment and did some rehab. So just trying to add more of that into your, I mean, you guys already know this. This is like kind of like a stupid tip because it's like sleep more, eat better. I guess they're obvious, but it always helps to have someone to remind you. So sleep, eat, treatment, taking it easy between sessions. If you have a big double day, doing your rehab drills, you guys actually should do it because it makes you better. It might not make you better in one day, but over time, it'll make you better. I promise. Final work out of the day is some treatment with Jason. Final one, the most important thing is to have fun. And do I even need to explain this? I'm not sure. It's a weird type of fun because it's not like running is always going to be fun and there's going to be ups and downs. But at the end of the day, what I want to say is that it's just running. While I'm sure many of you are so invested in it, just like me, and you want to be as great as possible and you think about it too much and you're too obsessed with it, let me ask you this. What is the point of it if you're not having fun? And honestly, from what I've seen from the outside and noticed with myself as well is you're going to be running your best when you're having fun and that's when it's going to make it all the most long-term sustainable. At the end of the day, if you want to be as good as you can, I think you got to be enjoying it. Simple. I mean, not simple actually. I'm not saying it's simple to just enjoy life. It's a lot of challenges out there. But if you're having fun, I think you're going to be running better. And long term, everything's going to be way better. So that's the final tip. Mm -hmm.